Hi, I'm Mary Kay Snaringer, along with my husband, David Brewster. I own the Edmonds Bookshop. We've owned it for 12 years, but the bookstore itself has been here for 40, going on 41 years. We live in Edmonds and um, have our family here and our home here. Uh, we're really pleased to be part of the business community in downtown Edmonds. In the fall of 2000, my father passed away and I had been involved in his care. So suddenly I had time on my hands and my husband's company had a Christmas party. We went to the Christmas party and there was a palm reader there. The palm reader looked at my hands and she said, whoa, your career line's really deep but it breaks up there in the middle. And I said, well, having two kids will do that to you. And then she looked at it later and she said, well, boy, it sure crosses with your success line later. You should own your own business. You should start a business. And I laughed at David and said, yeah, let's open a bookstore. Ha ha. <laughs> so a couple days later, we were looking for our Christmas Eve dinner and decided since we were going to buy a nice bottle of wine, we'd go down and visit our friends David and Ruth Arista, who own the wine cellar uh, down in downtown Edmonds, and thought we would just give them our business. As we were walking past the bookstore, we noticed a little sign in the window that said, this establishment is for sale. <laughs> So going in, we found out that the uh, bookstore was something that we could possibly afford. We spent that whole Christmas season worrying about whether we should do this or not, and you know the opportunities there. We finally just decided to go in, and if we ruin the family, we'd ruin the family, but <laughs> we would give it a try, and it's worked out. It's been really fun ever since. We've had a great time. Like all booksellers, we've faced challenges over the years, uh, from online bookselling and now digital e-readers, um, but somehow or other, and the big discount booksellers everywhere. It, it used to be you could buy books at a bookstore and not many other places, and now you can buy them at a grocery store and Costco and all different places for a lot less generally than we charge here. But it seems that the people in Edmonds have made it a, a choice to support their local bookseller and to keep us here and in business. It's a joy to spend my day around books and around people who read books. They have a way of changing lives and of changing brains and getting under your skin in ways you don't anticipate. I've got a book here, Fine Balance by Rohinton Mystery. And this is one of those books for me. I was reading about the lives of untouchables in Bombay, something I would have no idea about. About two months after I read this book, I was weeding my garden and wondering how those people were doing, and it suddenly occurred to me, they're not real, they're in a book, but they were real to me, and their experiences were real. I felt I had friends. We're grateful for the support of book buyers in the Edmonds area, and invite you all to come down. We have a book club that meets twice a month, once in the evening and once in the morning. We have a frequent flyers book club, or frequent buyers book club here, where you buy 12 books, and we give you the average price that you paid for those 12 books as a credit here in the store. We have author presentations, uh, summer months in this, on Saturdays. We have authors in at noon who stop by and say hello and see what authors have written. Uh, we encourage you to um, let us know about your community events and you can post those down here at the bookstore as well.